There are only green pens and blue pens in a box. There are three more blue pens than green pens in the box. There are more than 12 pens in the box. Simon is going to take at random two pens from the box. The probability that Simon will take two pens of the same colour is 27 over 55. Work out the number of green pens in the box. So the first thing we can do for this question is put the number of green pens and the number of blue pens into the form of algebra. So what we can do is we can let x be equal to the number of green pens. And because there are three more blue pens than green pens in the box, this means the number of blue pens will be equal to x plus 3. And we can add these together to give us the total number of pens in the box, meaning the total will be 2x plus 3. So next we can work out the probability of choosing out a green and choosing out a blue pen. Now although these values are in terms of x, we can treat this as we would with any other probability question, meaning that the probability of choosing out a green pen will be equal to the number of green pens divided by the total number of pens, meaning the probability of choosing out a green pen will be equal to x divided by 2x plus 3. And we can apply the same concept for the probability of choosing out a blue pen. So it will be the number of blue pens divided by the total number of pens in the box, which gives us x plus 3 divided by 2x plus 3. Now we've been told that the probability that Simon will take two pens of the same colour is 27 over 55. Now this is something called conditional probability. Because when Simon is choosing out the first pen, he does not put it back into the box before choosing out the second pen. So again, we can treat this as we would with numbers. We will just need to minus 1 from the number of pens and then the number of total pens. So if we start by working out the probability of choosing out two green pens. So because we're working out the probability of choosing a green pen and then another green pen, we're going to want to multiply together the probabilities. So we worked out the probability of choosing out a green pen was x over 2x plus 3. And then if we've just removed one green pen from the box, then this means the total number of green pens will now be x minus 1. And then the total number of pens will be 2x plus 2 meaning this is the probability of choosing out a second green pen. And we're going to want to multiply these together. And this gives us x multiplied by x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 2. So we can use the same process when working out the probability of choosing two blue pens. So the probability of choosing one blue pen is x plus 3 divided by 2x plus 3. And using the same process as before, if we've removed one blue pen, then the total number of blue pens will be x plus 2, and then the total number of pens will be 2x plus 2. Meaning the probability of choosing out two blue pens will be x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2, divided by 2x plus 3, multiplied by 2x plus 2. Now because there's two different ways of getting two pens of the same colour, meaning that we can either have two green pens or two blue pens, this means that we can add together the probability of choosing two green pens and the probability of choosing two blue pens, and this value will be equal to 27 over 55. So what this means is that x multiplied by x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 2 plus x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 3 
multiplied by 2x plus 2 is equal to 27 over 55. And now what we can do is we can simplify down these fractions and then rearrange this equation to make x the subject. Now when adding fractions, we add together the numerators and because these have the same denominator, we'll keep the denominator the same. And this gives us that x multiplied by x minus 1 plus x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 divided by 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 2 will be equal to 27 over 55. Now when we expand out the numerator and the denominator of this fraction, And if we simplify down the both numerator and the denominator of this fraction, this gives us 2x squared plus 4x plus 6 divided by 4x squared plus 10x plus 6 is equal to 27 over 55. Now we can simplify down this fraction by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2, which gives us x squared plus 2x plus 3 divided by 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 is equal to 27 over 55. And now we can simplify this down by multiplying both sides by 55 multiplied by 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And what this will do is remove the fraction on both sides of this equation. And this is because the 55 will cancel out the fraction on this side and the 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 will cancel out the fraction on this side. And what this will give us is that 55 multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 27 multiplied by 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. And if we expand out both sides of this expression, this will give us 55x squared plus 110x plus 165 is equal to 54x squared plus 135x plus 81. And now if we minus the right hand side of this equation from the left hand side, 55x squared minus 54x squared will give us x squared, 110x minus 135x will give us negative 25x and then 165 minus 81 will give us positive 84 and this will all be equal to 0. So now what we have is a quadratic which we can solve to work out the value of x. So if we factorise this quadratic we want two values which will multiply together to give us 84 and add together to give us negative 25. And we can use the values negative 21 and negative 4, meaning this quadratic will factorise to x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 21, therefore making x equal 4 and x equal 21. Now an important thing to remember for this question is that we were told in the question that there are more than 12 pens in the box. And because we let x be equal to the number of green pens, this means that x cannot be 4 and x must therefore be 21, meaning that the number of green pens in this box is equal to 21. Now this question's worth 6 marks. We'll get one mark for working out the probability of choosing out a green pen or choosing out a blue pen. We'll get our second mark for working out the probability of either choosing out two green pens or two blue pens. We'll get a third mark for forming an appropriate equation from these two probabilities. We'll get a fourth mark for forming a quadratic from this equation. We'll get our fifth mark for solving this quadratic. 
and we'll get our sixth mark for the correct answer of 21.